look, I'm not going to kill with you. You know, I took down my videos earlier, you know, earlier this year, last year, talking about women and how the women's rights movement was championed by men and the women wouldn't have had much of a voice in society by themselves without the men, especially men who were into politics, championing their movement. And the reason why they did it was to further Weishaupt's plan of bringing in a new world order. And it's, it's no wonder that France is one of the first places that the Illuminati went, the, the Bavarian Illuminati went, when Weishaupt was, you know, uh, expelled and he paid, he was offered all kinds of money because the, the ruling elite was afraid of what he's going to do. And, you know, when uh, masonry started infiltrating, they started spreading out and went all over the world. And, you know, and on and on. It goes on to, you know, you had Rosenberg, Rudolf Hess, um, Goebbels, Heinrich Himmler. These are occultists that were wrong with Hitler and the Tool Society. Okay, so it's like, you know, the Templars, the Masons, the Tool Society, the Illuminati, it all goes hand in hand. All right? I don't make this stuff up. I didn't spend my whole life and lose, you know, countless women. Like, I'm, I'm dedicating this video to the countless brain dead bitches that I've lost you know and that are out there and you know the reason why I give up on women the reason why I part of my analysis when it comes to psychiatry as cold as it is I wouldn't be a fair minded psychiatrist if I didn't include that in the research that women are part of this new world order as far as breaking down this family structure by demanding more rights you know breaking down a very carefully designed balance of family structure <clears throat> and they're not bringing it they're not breaking it down like Muhammad breaking down the idol idols of Jesus bringing a sword to the family they break you know for God they're breaking it down for their own sake you know the same thing the G the uh, excuse me that Satan did this is, he says, for me, myself and I, and my pride, whether you're talking about the Quran or the Bible, it was his pride, and it was him wanting more more for himself. Him wanting more rights to the point where it went against God's will. So, you know, whether we're talking about uh, the Rockefeller uh, fueling the German U-boats during World War II and the steel industry and Prince Bernhardt of the Netherlands founding Bilderberg, and, you know, how he had to stop leading Bilderberg because of the Lockheed scandal and how all these cocksuckers from Bilderberg have their high class security and they, they snob the nose and make fun of black people like me who are honest revolutionaries who aren't part of their revolution because they say we control the media your revolution is not going to get the attention therefore not get, they're going to get the support that our revolution is that their phony revolution is you know, they co-opt the revolution and create a phony revolution that it's loud sounds and loud media exposure muffles out the righteous heartbeats and words of righteous men such as myself. <clears throat> That's why a lot of monks and priests and a lot of religious people, they're not allowed to have wives. Because women are a tool used by the devil. That's why one of the, the commandments is you don't lust for women. Okay? One of the means they use to bring down politicians like Wiener, like like Herman Cain, who wanted to tax capital gains, capital gains tax, okay? A black guy also wanted to legalize marijuana. Now, this guy is a black Republican who had a following, a certain following, and that you knew this guy wasn't going to get far, you know? Because he had that dirt on him already. They were just waiting to pull it out. It's not something that just came up. Yeah, he probably did it, but they held that as a trump card, and they got one on everybody. You know, everyone's got to do their dirt to join the criminal organized structure of scumbag bankers and their mafia muscle. Now, who financed Cecil Road? The House of the Rothschilds. They used to have um, um, a company, um, N and M Rothschilds and Sons, and they're funding all kinds of royalty. They're they're sending their daughters, like Meyer's daughter Hannah. You know, Hannah Barbera, you know, fucking Hannibal fucking Lecter Hannah, okay? This bitch, <clears throat> excuse my uh, proper English, 
she, you know, was uh, engaged to like an Earl. Then another one of his daughters, you know, marries this prince and on and on. Then you had, you know, the Phoenix, Phoenix program where the CIA was assassinating, torturing, and killing people and how they abandoned the Hmong and Laos like they abandoned the Ebos in Nigeria to the enemies of righteous thought. Okay, the people who fight for righteous ideas, they get abandoned to the scum. Okay, the bad guys say, oh, we care about your revolution. We'll help you out. We'll help you get thrown to the wolves so we can screen out the revolutionaries incremental. The people like me, the media has taught you to hate to the point where women leave me for another guy. You no, know, you know, I'm going to say it. The last five, ten women that I've been with have left me for another guy. And one of the reasons they cite is that this guy, that my anchor, okay, and that, you know, I'm, I'm studying this stuff. I'm always talking about this stuff. They're not interested in this stuff. They're not interested in the government. They're not interested in conspiracy. They're not interested in, in history and the things I've studied thoroughly in high school and college. And I went to many different colleges and I specifically went there for classes that would advance my research and expose these madmen. And so, when you're fighting against the New World Order, there's collateral damage, okay? And even when you're done, you think you're done fighting and, and you moved on, there's blowback in that area that's going to come back to hunt you. <clears throat> See, me, there's no shame in my videos because this is my freedom of speech. This is me being a revolutionary. This is me being a responsible Christian. And at the same time, also discerning what is the bullshit and what's real okay so you know I can't stress you enough that women will be used to bring down many people it's like the oldest trick in the book you know catching you with your pants down what, what is the easiest way to catch somebody with their pants down and to know when their pants are going to be down <clears throat> But no, it's not giving them some kind of fucking, you know. <laughs> ah, okay. Anyway, the point is that, yeah, there's good women out there. You know, and there's, there's also, um, there's also rainbows out there, too, you know, that exist in the storm or after the storm is weathered as well, but... Is this everywhere? No. Are women going to be used to bring down great men? Yes. Are we going to be left <clears throat> feeling like we're all alone and we have nothing but God? You see, if you look at Che Guevara and how the government treated him and how he was a, a flashy revolutionary and he was a likable guy, you know, that, that that age of these likable revolutionaries, unless you're talking about somebody they put up there, some black puppet leader or some other puppet leader, there isn't going to be any likable guy. You know, you, you get what you get. You know what I'm saying? You, you get the guy like me that people want to make fun of, you know, and say he's a quack, you know, he doesn't know what he's talking about, you know. That since, since I didn't get some kind of fucking degree in this particular field that I have no business to talk about this stuff, you know? This kind of pretentious, pompous bullshit. You know, they're building their house on a fallacy. The foundation is a fallacy. So, you know, when I, I'm pouring my heart out in this work, and it's cost me dearly, and you know, I could be dead soon. You know, there's no telling how they'll set me up next. The government um, sets me up. Women uh, bring me down to. Uh, you know, there's all these areas in my life where evil and lust and greed and wicked people are attacking, and. I'm left knowing that I can't believe in virtuous women anymore. Just point out the conspiracy with the women.